the face of the famous plaster Jericho skull, which was found in the Palestinian city of Jericho in 1953, has been fully recreated via 3D imaging technology, revealing exactly what the man to whom the skull belonged looked like when he walked the earth 9,000 years ago. An initial 3D recreation of the man's face was created in 2016, but the new image used the latest technology to produce one of the most thorough and accurate facial reconstructions ever made based on an analysis of an ancient human skull. The Neolithic Reconstruction Known simply as the Jericho Skull, the incredible object that was the subject of the new facial reconstruction was unearthed 70 years ago by celebrated British archaeologist Kathleen Kenyon. It was one of seven such skulls she discovered at the Tel Es Sultan site in Jericho during her excavations, which at that time were the most extensive to ever take place at that location. This plastered skull, which in its current condition reveals only a vague outline of a decayed human face, has been held by the British Museum since its original discovery. The seven skulls that were found at the time were all sent to different museums around the world. The first such skull was discovered in the 1930s in Jericho, and as of now approximately 60 plastered skulls have been found at several sites in or around Jericho in the southern Levant. Modern attempts at reconstructing the 9,000-year-old Jericho skull The initial 2016 reconstruction was based on precise measurements of the Jericho skull, which were obtained using a type of detailed scanning known as microcomputed tomography micro -CT. With this data, researchers were able to create a virtual 3D model of the head and face, approximating how the man would have looked when he was alive. The new recreation, which was released to the public in an article published in the journal Ortogonline in December, used related but somewhat different techniques to make a more realistic and accurate version of the Neolithic man's head and face. In this case, computed tomography, CT, Scans were used to harvest data from the skull, and then statistical projections of normal features and anatomical deformations were derived from those CT scan results in order to construct a more vivid and lifelike 3D image. The team of Brazilian scientists responsible for this exceedingly accurate recreation included individuals from three separate disciplines, 3D graphics expert Cicero Moraes, who has performed dozens of facial reconstructions of historical figures with the archaeological research group Art Team Brazil, dental surgeon Thiago Bini, who is an associate professor of dentistry at the Federal University of Uberlandia, and Mosi Elias Santos, an archaeologist affiliated with the Ciro Flamarian Cardoso Archaeology Museum in the city of Ponta Grossa. The new reconstruction has revealed the person to have been a dark-haired man in his 30s or 40s. By today's standards, that would have made him middle-aged. The most unusual feature of the skull was its shape, which was much broader on top and in the back than a normal human head. Researchers know this shape was obtained through the practice of binding, where an individual's still-forming skull is wrapped tightly in bandages at an early age to make sure it is reshaped into a particular form. This was a common practice in the Neolithic period, and it would seem it was done primarily for aesthetic purposes, because people thought oddly shaped skulls were attractive.